Good morning Year 2 and welcome to Monday's Maths lesson. So to begin with we are going to start off by practicing counting in tens. So if we start off on 10 and count our own tens, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then can you pause the video and have a go at doing that on your own? So well done to everybody who did that. This time, can you start on 100 and count backwards in 10? So pause your video. Right, this time, what if I said start on the number 37 and count on in 10s? Can you remember the pattern where we are jumping on in 10 each time? We'll do this one together and then I'll set a few for you to do yourselves. So 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, 97. This time, can you start on the number 19 and count forwards in 10? So pause your video. This time, can you start on the number 23 and count forwards in 10? So pause your video here. And two more, let's start on 95 and count backwards in 10s this time. So remember you are jumping up the number square, taking away 10 each time. So pause your video and have a go at doing that one. And the final one today, can you start on 71 and count back in 10s? So pause your video. Right, so let's move on to our main learning today. And today we are learning to add and subtract multiples of 10. So remember these are the numbers where we're counting in multiples of 10, counting in tens. Right, so how could you use sticks and stones, so remember our tens and our ones, to solve this problem? So have a think, what might you need to draw? How are we going to do it? Right, so if I am adding, so I've got 50, add 20. So I need to make my 50 first of all. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and I'm adding on 20. So that means that I've got two groups I'm going to be combining, I'm going to be adding to work out the total. So I've made my 50, and now I need to make 20 more. So I've got 50 here and 20. Now I need to work out what they add up to all together, because remember we're adding. So let's count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So the answer is 70. Right, this time it's a little bit different because we don't have two multiples of tens that we're adding. We've got a tens and ones number here at a multiple of 10. So this time I need to make my 23 and then make my 20 and combine them to work out the total. So if you'd like to have a go at this on your own, pause the video here and have a go. Okay, right, I'm going to show you the answer for this one. And rather than using my tens and ones that are here, I'm going to show you how you could draw it at home. So 23, 10, 20, so I've done my sticks for my tens. One, two, three, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. And I'm adding on 20, so I'm going to do my next two tens, 10, 20. And remember, we're adding, so we're working out that whole, that total. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Or we could do 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 33, 43. Either way, you will work out the correct answer. Right. Here is one for you to have a go at at home. So 51 add 40. So pause your video here and have a go at working out the answer to this one. Right, well done if you correctly had a go at home. I'll reveal the answer for you now. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. Add 10, 20, 30, 40. So remember, count up your tens and your ones. Now, I don't need to count this bit because I know that there are 51. Then, can we count on the next set of tens? So 51, 61, 71, 81, 91. There are 91 altogether. 
So let's have a look at this one because it's a little bit different. So this time, how can you use your sticks and stones to help you solve this problem? So we've got 40 subtract 30. So this time, rather than adding, we are taking away. Now, when we're taking away, it's a little bit different. We don't need to draw both sets of sticks and stones because we're taking some away. So if I go back and use my resources on the screen this time, 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's what I'm starting off with. Maybe it was 40 ants crawling across the patio and 30 of them burrow underground. How many are left? So I've got 40 and I'm going to subtract the 30 and I'm going to do that by crossing out 30. So 10, 20, 30. And then we're going to see what's left. So I can see that there is only one stick of 10 left. And one stick of 10 is 10. So well done if you had already spotted how we could solve that one. This time we've got 62 take away 20. So remember, make your six. 62 with your sticks and stones, you could make it or you could draw it, and then subtract 20. So I will do this one like I did last time. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62. And remember, we are subtracting, so we're not going to draw another 20, we are taking them away, we're crossing them out. So 62 take away 20. I remember we are taking away a tens number, so we are crossing out tens, not the ones. Let's see what we've got left. So we've taken 20 away. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So the answer is 42. Right, here is a chance for you to have a go this time. 17 take away 10. So pause your video and have a go at working out the answer to this one for me. Remember, draw those sticks and stones. Right, let's have a look. We've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and we're going to take away 10. Now there's only one 10 this time, so we get rid of it completely. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's 7 left. 17 take away 10 equals 7, so well done if you correctly worked the answer out at home. Right, here's a chance for you to have another go. 72 take away 70. So pause your video and have a go at working out the answer at home. Okay, let's have a go together. Are we ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. So we're taking away 70. Now I know that the number 72 is made up of a 70 and a 2, so I can cross out all 70 here and what have we got left we've only got two ones so we've got two left okay today what am i looking for in your work i can add and subtract two multiples of 10 using pictorial representation so that's drawing your sticks and stones and i can add and subtract a multiple of 10 onto a two digit number using pictorial representation so this is where we had a two-digit number with tens and with ones, a bit like our 72. And then our challenge is I can reason about adding multiples of 10. So today's sheet looks a little bit like this. It's got instructions at the top. It's got a few reminders for when you're adding and for when you're subtracting. I do want to see those sticks and stones being drawn, please, today. So good luck with your maths work and enjoy the rest of the day.